elders and all my dear friends. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome again to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about cyclones and also about winds and storms. Because when we are studying about cyclones, surely we talk about these two topics because the concept of cyclone is related to wind and storms. Recently, there was a cyclone named Amphan. Cyclone Amphan hit the east coast of India with wind speed of 240 km per hour. It continued for 6 days from 16 May 2020 to 21st May 2020. The streets of Odisha, West Bengal were worst affected. A widespread destruction occurred. Transportation, communication, electricity supply was affected. Scores of people were killed. The cyclone is also the costliest cyclone ever recorded in North Indian Ocean. It causes over US dollar 13 billion destruction. It was the strongest tropical cyclone to strike the Ganga's Delta. Amphan made the landfall in West Bengal. The storm was considered the strongest to hit regions in over a decade. At least 86 people died in West Bengal. Many homes collapsed. Many people became homeless. Trees and electric poles were uprooted. Millions of houses were damaged. The cycle on Amphan struck Kolkata well for well, Much of the city was without power for over 14 hours. Storm also featured widespread flooding in the city of Kolkata and also in Central A lot of part of Delta was damaged. Mangrove forest became upside down and caused a lot and a lot of widespread damage and destruction in Odisha, West Bengal, not very much, but also in South India. Parts of Andaman and Nicobar Islands were destroyed. Cyclone Amphan also hit neighboring countries of Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, and does the same thing here. Several loss of life and property to this. As I say in the beginning, we are going to study about winds, storms, and cyclones. So first of all, we begin with wind. Wind is nothing but moving air. A moving, a very fast moving air is called wind. First, take a look to some of the properties of air. That air exerts pressure. Air expands on heating and contrast on cooling. Warm air is lighter and cold air is heavier and denser. Now we are talking about air pressure. So it's a very important and very interesting concept this one. Wind increased wind speed. When the wind, creep, uh, wind speed is high, it is indeed accompanied by a reduced air pressure. And also, air moves from the region where the air pressure is high to the region where the air pressure is low. It's the most fundamental thing behind the formation of cyclones. And also, one more thing is the wind currents. Wind currents is basically the movement of winds. And these wind currents are generated due to the uneven heating of the earth. Now, there are two parts of this. Uneven heating between the equator and the poles and uneven heating of land and water. Talking about uneven heating of equator and poles, you might have learned in geography that equator uh, gets maximum heat from the sun. So the air in these regions get warm and as hot air is lighter, it rises up. The cooler air from the regions in the 0 to 30 degrees latitude built on either side of the equator and moves in. Uh, these winds blow from the north and the south towards the equator at the poles, the air is colder than the latitudes above 60 degrees. The air at these latitudes rises up and the cold wind from the polar region rushes in to take its place. In this way, wind circulation is set up from the poles to the warmer latitudes. And talking about heating of land and water, uh, you might have learned about sea breeze and land breeze. And there is something, uh, something which is another also. In summer, near the equator, the land warms up faster and um, a most temperature of the land is higher than the water in the oceans. The air over the land gets heated and rises up. This causes the winds to flow from the ocean towards the land. These are the monsoon winds. Uh, the monsoon winds carry water and it rains. And this bring, uh, and, um, uh, in India we are uh, dependent a lot upon monsoon winds. So these, these winds are very important for us. Because due to this, uh, it causes rain in India. It is not always a happy ending. And rains often creates a lot of problems. And in nature itself, there are certain situations that can sometimes create disasters and pose threat to humans and animals and plant life. So, uh, cyclones and thunderstorms are two such cases um, which occur naturally and it causes a lot of destruction and uh, damage, as we see in the case of cyclone Amphan. So, thunderstorms develop very frequently in hot and humid areas like India 
uh, the rising temperature produce strong upward rising winds and these winds carry water droplet droplets upwards where they freeze and then fall down again the swift movement of water falling droplets along with the rising air create lightning and sound it is this event that we call a thunderstorm and the same thunderstorm can become cyclone you know that water requires heat when it changes from liquid to vapor state does the water give back heat when uh, vapor condenses into liquid can you recall any experience to support this what happened is that before cloud for formation water takes up heat from the atmosphere to change into vapor when water vapor changes back to liquid from uh, form as raindrops this heat is released to the atmosphere the heat released to the atmosphere warms the air around us the air tends to rise and cause a drop in pressure more air rushes to the center of the storm this cycle is repeated the chain of events ends up with the formation of very low pressure system with very high speed winds revolving around it it is this weather condition that we call a cyclone so factors like wind speed wind direction temperature and humidity can contribute to the development of cyclones in different parts of the world cyclones are known by different names it is called a hurricane in american continent in philippines and japan it is known by the name of typhoon and in this modern technological world thanks to satellites and radars a cycle on alert or cycle on watch is issued for you to act in advance of any expected storm and a cycle on warning is issued 24 hours in advance several national and international organizations cooperate to monitor the cycle on related disasters self help is the best help therefore it is better to plan in advance and be ready with defense against any approaching cyclone